there we go. Yeah, you get to looking for something certain size and you miss even something that big. Boy, I should have, I should have stuck that fake one down here, shouldn't I? You should have went. I'd try to cut that sucker up. <laughs> <laughs> you better don't move. I'd look around here real careful. Absolutely. I'm gonna go get a picture of these guys. Well, take a picture of yours in there. <laughs> right next to it. Can identify the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> look at that guy. Prepared. What's that? I bet you got one too. Yeah, I got. Well, I'd probably get in trouble because it's a Walmart sack and it don't. It doesn't breathe. Woolen breeches. This isn't a mushroom, but just as fun. Can you see him yet? Mr. Box Turtle. Oh my gosh, he just he's just waking up, guys. Good morning. He's just waking up, Steve. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's stuck in a hole. Just coming out of it. We'll put him right back. Which one is the fake one? No, that's all right. Want to see how the our fake one looked next? Not so great next to the real one, but I think I would try and pick that. That squirrel corn. It's not as pointy on the top as the. Looks like he took a little bite out of the bottom of it. <laughs> it does. But it's similar to the Dutchman's breeches. But my feeder. I wanted to throw it yesterday. I used it out, so I uh, went in and got some sugar. Had to go to the gun shop. And That's one of the first back, ones up here. I would say. To Walmart. I was eating some. There's a fine example of a trout lily, or a dog tooth violet, as it's known bloom always kind of droops down like this and the leaves are a little bit mottled like that.